What's up guys, it's Oblivious Gamer here, and well, today I wanted to talk a bit about Sandland, which currently has a demo out there, and of course, I managed to play it, and well, this will be like my thoughts on the demo. Sandland is originally a Japanese manga series written and illustrated by Akira Toriyama. Now, Akira Toriyama sadly passed away recently, but you probably know who he is. Famous for his work with Dragon Ball, Dragon Quest. He has inspired many people. He has achieved very interesting um, recognition with Dragon Ball just being so well known. Now, Sandlin, from my understanding, was supposed to be well, this is a manga that came out years ago, but Bandai Namco recently announced kind of like a multimedia project thing. Uh, they released a film last year. Um, I think it just came out or is going to come out a series also with like seven episodes. And apparently Akira Toriyama did work on some of those seven episodes. So there's some new stuff there. And of course, there is the game that is going to come out in April. So far... Uh, from presentation, um, you can tell it's an Akira Toriyama uh, art style just by the design of some of the characters. He has a very peculiar style, especially like if you play Dragon Quest, uh, you could immediately tell, oh yeah, this is definitely an Akira Toriyama style. On um, presentation, like I said, the game looks fantastic. I think the art style blends super well. The environment looks fantastic as you're roaming around in your motorcycle you're just like wow this looks pretty nice um character models also look pretty well done so through and through i think it's a very fantastic game developed by ilka the whole gist from sandler from my understanding is um this is a world that had multiple wars natural disasters and well the world is left out without a main supply of water so what happens is there's very few places or very few areas to get water and well there's a king of the land who um he sells water to the people and it becomes more and more expensive to get water for the citizens of sandland because it's just so expensive and of course you need water to survive this leads for people to rob each other for water in order to survive and money and here's where our characters begin uh the sheriff Raul, a human he got tired of the greed of the king so he decides to approach the demons of sandlands to help him search for a new water supply and that's where the demon prince Beezlebub, which is who you play as and his friend thief agreed to join Rao in the search for a new water supply. Though mostly Beezlebub decide to join him because he's bored and he's like, ah, let's check it out. And that's basically the gist of the story from my understanding. The demo didn't go to in depth. This is a very basic demo. And of course, my familiarity with the IP is not that big. Now, as I said, the demo is pretty basic it's not like the first couple of chapters or it's not like a story in a sense basically the demo is more of like hey this is the open world here's some vehicles um go out there and just check things out there's like i said no quest no story mode. you're just in this open area with some enemies and you can explore and that's basically the gist just they're trying to give you an idea how the game is gonna work how the gameplay is gonna go and how the combat is gonna be because it's very interesting how uh, the game approaches so you have Beezlebub and you can fight as Beezlebub but in a lot of situations um, you're gonna fight like a lot of enemies with weapons um, big enemies, like, and at least with what what is unlocked in the demo, Beezlebub is not like somebody who can shoot beams or like will teleport and move fast. Like he f can fight. He, it's not like he's extremely strong. And here's where you will rely on your vehicles. So in this demo, you have three vehicles: your motorcycle, your tank, and your mech. And you can switch whichever one you want. All of them have different weapons and you can use them to fight your enemies in different situations. Motorcycle is extremely quick. You can drift. Um, you can attach a Gatling gun or a shotgun and just fire at people. You have your tank. 
extremely powerful and then you have your mech which is very fun to play and use and this is like where i think bandai wants to show the combat and be like hey you know um you can play as Mizu but th there's also this combat vehicle that you'll be able to enjoy and it's it's fun in its way i think i think it's gonna be pretty enjoyable the more you unlock because the other thing with the vehicle combat is these vehicles are in a sense customizable there's different weapons that you can attach so you're going to have different loadouts, um, different chips that, you know, will affect like the health, the speed, the jump, boost. There's clearly an emphasis in a lot of the combat is here with the vehicle. Um, for example, the mech, um, at first, like it just it had like a uppercut punch, but then I added a pile driver. So then immediately his ability is now like he can jump that pile driver in someone. Um, I changed from having a Gatling gun to a shotgun on his wrist. Um, you are able to add two cannons to the top of the mech, or you can add more armor instead. Like, there's a lot of options here. And there's also rarities that I notice, like some um, of the chips and some of the weapons say rare, uncommon, so there's probably gonna be a lot of stuff here. And that's pretty much most of the demo, I would say. The whole core is, look at the gameplay, here's what you're gonna be playing, because I think a lot of people are curious how the game was gonna work in terms of gameplay and how the combat was gonna be. Personally, I'm interested in the game. I'm definitely gonna give it a shot, especially after playing it, I think. Um, I enjoy it. Uh, I'm like, oh, this can be fun. I don't know if it's gonna be everybody's cup of tea, because of how the gameplay works, and, you know, it's all vehicle, there's, like, there's like a big pile of land that you're gonna be roaming around so there's definitely not there's definitely gonna be people who are not gonna like this and that's totally fine i do think though if you're a fan of akira toriyama or maybe you're curious about the game definitely try the demo out see if you enjoy the gameplay see if you're gonna enjoy that repetitive core of like using the vehicle switching them around because there's some pretty nice stuff here and there's some pretty interesting things with how the combat is approached so, I think you guys should definitely try the demo out. Um, give it a shot, you know. It's just a couple of hours. It's like, a, like you will see if this is going to be a game you will enjoy or not in like 30 minutes. Because there's mostly combat that you're going to be able to do. It's not like there's story segments or quests to do. So, yeah. That's pretty much it for me. I would say I'm looking forward for the game. And hopefully you guys give it a shot. So we still, what are your thoughts guys? This has been Olivia's Gamer and I hope you'll have a wonderful day or night wherever you are.